girl good morning it's your girl sky aka style freak sky aka the woman behind the brand that is me that is innate style that is innate conversations that is love yourself trust yourself be yourself thank you for tuning in you guys guess what so today wait first of all tomorrow is your girl's birthday Yes, tomorrow, December 14th, is my birthday. So today, we are going to do a little at-home, in-house photo shoot. I'm gonna bring you guys along with me as I prepare. I don't really have plans for tomorrow, so I don't foresee myself like getting dressed, putting together a look, or doing anything out of the ordinary for my normal day. But I want pictures, so I thought to myself, you know, why not give yourself a photo shoot? Is it a big milestone birthday for me? No, it will be next year, but this year, no. So I didn't feel like it was like necessary for me to go all out, do a full blown like on location studio or some type of professional photo shoot, so to speak. So I just thought, you know, why not put something together at home? So here we are. I just got back home from Target with me. I brought some flowers they were actually in really good condition. I was like, let me check out the flowers and see what they look like. If they're not looking too good, I was gonna go to like Trader Joe's or something, but they actually look really good. So I have some flowers that I need to go to Party City to pick up some balloons. I got a whole little idea going on, a little, little aesthetic -y feng shui. I got in mind something simple, something cute something to represent just kind of where I am in life right now. Really channeling my divine feminine, not my divine feminine, but like I'm channeling my dark feminine. Oh, speaking of dark feminine, look at my nails. Come on nails. This is the first time I've ever done like this little chrome red and the first time that I've ever gotten Tiffany's making noise with the flowers right now. It's my first time getting this shape. We're in a season of trying something different, trying something new. For Sagittarius, I'm hearing that it's really good to tap into your divine femininity right now, light colors and whatnot. A couple of months, your girl's been tapped into her dark femininity, okay? And I'm allowing it and receiving it and accepting it. If you don't know about the difference between dark feminine and divine feminine energy, definitely look into that. If you guys want more information from me, feel free to leave it in the comments and maybe I'll do a video of my journey. But anyway, I might change it like just before the new year, depending on how I feel. I'm such just a filler, you know, filler, a filler. I've been waiting for Party City to open. It is close to 10 a.m. So they should be open pretty soon. So I'm gonna head over there, grab some balloons, come back. I ran out of makeup primer. So while I was at Target, I picked up this NYX primer. It's actually supposed to be like multi-use. It's called Bear With Me. It's supposed to be a primer, setting spray, and like a refresher spray. Also got this NYX Angel Veil. This is a primer and it's also supposed to be like you know, give you like a silky little smooth finish. So I don't know, I haven't decided. I've never tried neither one of these before. I usually use Becca Cosmetics Primer, but they don't sell it in stores anymore. And Amazon has it, but I didn't order it in time to get here today. So we're gonna try NYX. NYX is usually pretty dependable. So I'll let y'all know what it's hitting for. Aside from that, I just need the balloons. I need to come back and do my hair. Oh, last night I went to Sally's Beauty and I also got some rod perm rollers. In case I decide to curl the ends of my braids, I haven't really decided yet like which type of feng shui I'm going for, but you can never be too prepared. I also got some last strips and some glue, duo glue. So yeah, pop these babies on. I don't typically wear the little strip lashes because they take me so long to apply. Look at my cat. They take so long to apply but we're gonna give it a whirl. So I will be back, let you guys know how the balloon shopping goes and I'll see you in a second. 
We're gonna go ahead and set up my ring light tripod. I figured I may as well do that while I'm dressed down in my running around Aaron clothes. Let me go ahead and get this set up and then we will go and get the <laughs> I literally have on every color that's in the rainbow on today. <laughs> Anyways, we are here, you guys. I just pulled up to Party City, about to grab these balloons. I know they sell them in bundles of like 15, um, but I think I might need a little bit more than that. So I might get the bundle of 15 balloons plus an additional like five, maybe 10, maybe five. We'll see. Um, but keep watching you guys will see what color I am getting. I thought long and hard and then eventually, you know, lately what I've realized is like the less complicated, the more aligned usually when you don't make it so difficult and you just keep it straightforward. Um, and in this case, I wanted to just base it off of, like I said earlier, just the way I've been feeling lately and just kind of really root myself in that and be authentic with, you know, externally communicating and expressing that feeling it was easy peasy it's such a basic color but and i had so many different color schemes in mind but i will let you guys see so keep on watching i will be back with the deal <laughs> As you can see, balloons in tow. Okay, okay, okay. I'm excited. As you can see, I opted for black balloons. I'm really solid on my decision. The vision is coming to life and we gonna get this photo shoot popping. So let me go do my face, my baby hair, my hair. Let me just, let me get it together. And yeah, I'll be back. Also, just another little tidbit regarding um, you know my decision to get the black balloons it's a really big step in my creative journey um a lot of times we put ourselves in these boxes that we fit like we're so that we think we're supposed to fit within and we don't really give ourselves room to explore outside of that um you know black always has such like a negative connotation it's so dark it's so you know why black it's so basic and things like that as with all colors there's many different associations that you may have with the color black you know most of them usually pertaining to like more negative and dark like i was saying before um but sometimes it just is what it is and i've noticed you know again that recently i've been more naturally drawn to the color black and again i'm just really in an era just allowing myself to go for the things that i'm naturally drawn to you understand what i'm saying so this time around you know because i was i was so sure that i wanted something like light and airy and like you know some purple some you know like gold and things like that you know i'll save the rest of the look for later in the video i was able to come with like a perfect mix i think but i was really trying to talk myself out of not doing the black balloons like you don't do black you black balloons you've never had a black balloon in your life like why would you want to do black balloons like oh that's gonna seem like this or that's gonna seem like that and that is bizarre and I'm so happy that I came to the realization that I don't have to talk myself out of something that I'm naturally drawn to. The moral of the story is let your creativity flow. You know, just because you have an affinity
identity to something in particular at the moment doesn't mean that has to forever be your identity you know what i mean like i'm acting like i have to forever be like an emo goth or something because i want black balloons today and not saying that's the only you know genre of style and people that go for black but it's an example like you're not tied to one like category or label or aesthetic just because you chose to express your creativity that way right now so give your give yourselves room to explore and i'm gonna leave it at that and i'm gonna go do my makeup and i'll be back <laughs> child i got hungry i didn't want to eat too much before taking pictures obviously but i'm hungry so i'm gonna have my little cheese snack really quick before i start my process but all right so what i'm about to do right now is go ahead and oil my scalp um i've been meaning to do this for the past few days anyways so before i wash my face or anything i'm gonna go ahead and oil my scalp for obvious reasons i do that before i wash my face and then i'm gonna get some water boiling on the stove because regardless if i decide to curl these ends or not i want to redip my braids so i'm gonna go ahead and get some water boiling so that i can do that in the meantime i'm gonna go ahead and oil my hair with this bring garage i think i mentioned this to you guys before i get this one off of amazon it works great and once I oil my braids, I will wash my face, do my makeup, by then the water will be boiled, and then I can go ahead and dip my braids, and then we can boom, boom, bada, boom, okay? So <laughs> I will be back once I am done with all of that. Business as usual. I might even put a few more over. Yeah. Might even do something like that. Bella Professional. I get these at Target. Love them, love them, love them. Is it giving? It's giving. All right. About 10 minutes. 10 minutes. All right. So I don't know which one of these I want to use today. Angelville primer or the bear with me spray something's telling me to try this spray today though i think i'm gonna go ahead and try this spray as the primer and the setting spray today we'll see how it does as a primer and then if it's doing okay i'll use it as a setting spray otherwise i will use my usual which is the urban decay setting spray so let's get to it here goes nothing Let's see what it do. Okay, well, I actually think I like it, the primer. It went on easily. I used the spray, bear with me. Um, It wasn't like greasy or slippery. It seems like it's on there pretty good. Child, these eyebrows, I just don't know. Can I also just say too, 
baby, this is the last time I'm doing my own makeup for one of these type of situations or events, okay? Like anything outside of my normal day-to-day, -day, I'm giving up after this. Like I really, I can't do it anymore. It takes so much energy to be in charge of like everything pertaining to your shoot, you know? I do it just because I can, you know what I mean? That sounds crazy, but it's true. Like I do it just because like, why not? Like I can, it saves time. I don't have to like go to another location or, you know, anything like that. Obviously it saves money. Um, but the biggest, I think, obstacle for me is finding someone that's like, you know, good and talented, but not too booked up that it's like difficult to get an appointment. Um, and I have to do the work and find a makeup artist. If y'all know any makeup artists that you would like to recommend, feel free to do so in the comments. I'm in the LA area. <laughs> Thank you. But let me go ahead and finish this brow, get close, get them shaped and everything, and I'll be back. All right, so we got a brow going. To my point, I really want to be able to delegate like a lot of things pertaining to bringing my visions to life, you know, especially like with the makeup thing. It's like, yeah, I know how to do makeup or whatever. Like I can get by, but like there are people who are trained <laughs> specifically to do makeup, you know, and um, I, get, I do. I pretty much do the same like makeup look all the time because like the very a variation of like one or two looks because that's all I know how to do. So when I want, you know, like something different, I'm a little bit limited. So same with like taking pictures. Like I do have photographers, you know, that I've worked with that are really great. Um, but out of convenience, a lot of times I take my own pictures, but I do know that like, when you have someone else taking your pictures, you can put more energy into the look, the poses, the energy of the whole thing, you know? So we're just doing this for fun today, but like moving forward, especially like on a more professional note, like with the Nate style and things like that, I'm for sure going to be delegating and getting um, people to join my little circle and help out with that. So I'm looking forward to it. Brows are on for the most part. <laughs> I'd be in such a rush to get this concealer going, child, because without it, that eyeshadow be looking spooky. Like, where is this going? Where are we going with this? I'm gonna go for a more full coverage look today, which is why I'm putting concealer on first and then I'm going to put my foundation over it. That is not something I usually do because I generally don't like a full, full coverage look, but obviously for the pictures that might be necessary. I'll go ahead and add my foundation and then another layer of concealer. I think I have something in my eye. This little area right here, I don't usually cover fully with makeup.
but we are today. glow you know my forehead is definitely an accessory use what you got all right all right y'all i think i did what i can <laughs> With the lashes my light is charging so the lighting is not that great i need to fix like the little liner right here because the glue kind of slid a little bit what's so crazy is that what's so crazy is that it's almost easier well it is easier for me to do individual lashes than it is to put on last strips i'm whole ass certified to do individual lashes but these strip lashes be tearing me up I'm losing sunlight. That's what, another thing I don't like about the winter time. Like it's only like two, three, and it's already in dark. Okay. Oh. Then we're gonna go in with a little mascara on the bottom lash. All right, I'm gonna go ahead with a little nose glow <laughs> just a little shimmer down the bridge a little bit up here on the cheekbone that's good i haven't decided what lippy i'm gonna do but i'm gonna go ahead and set this with this spray until i figure it out as you can see, I decided to go with the Bear With Me primer as a setting spray as well because it is so well as a primer. So like, why not? I really, I think it did good. I really like it. Now I need to go and dip my braids and try not to lose any more. I need to go dip my braids, basically. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do like a nude lip with like a light brown liner. We'll see, let me get the outfit on and I'll be back. Keep watching so you can see the final look of this photo shoot. Thank you guys for tuning in so far. It's been a day, but we are getting there, baby. We are making headway. I am not a makeup artist. I have never claimed to be, but I do what I do when I need to do it, you know? So let's get it done. Braids are dipped and looking fresher than ever. Maybe I'll curl them another day, but for today, I feel like the vibes are getting straight. So now I just need to do my baby hair. Boom, baby hair is done. Let me take this out before I have a dent in my braids. Oh, let me get the mousse. Bam, a lot of body. Coconut smells divine. If you know, you know. If they're still a little wet, let's take this and damp them off a little bit. 
Then up them off. Damp them off. Whatever. What I gotta do? Okay, your girl can clean up. <laughs> okay, here is the final product. Just about final. So I am back. My makeup is done. And now I just need to decide on which pair of sunnies. I'm gonna wear. I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna go ahead and figure out which sunnies I'm gonna rock. Get the roses out the refrigerator and get going because we still have a little bit of sunlight. I'm gonna take advantage of that and get these pictures done. I'm really excited so far with how everything came out. Thank you so much for watching so far. Stick around if you would like to see the finished product and see the pictures. I think we're gonna do square. It's just, you know, it's so West Coast. And I just, I think it's, yeah, I think it's square. Square biz, baby. <laughs> Last but not least, we have our roses. I had to, oh, Come on now. I had to trim them a little bit, um, you know, to get them kind of presentable, but loving them. These are my prop and an early birthday gift to me. All right, for real this time, we're really about to get this thing right. <laughs> All right, y'all, so I am officially done with the shoot. I am pretty satisfied with how everything came out. I kind of scrolled through what I got. Um, and yeah, so far, so good. Of course, I have to go through and like edit everything and choose the ones that I want to use. But for the most part, it was a successful shoot. I'm really proud of myself for just taking the time and doing this and just doing something for me. And like, you know, not feeling pressured to have to like, you know, go and do some extravagant event or whatever just to like get some good pictures. Like if you want good pictures, just take some good pictures, you know? So that's what you can do. Love yourself, trust yourself, be yourself. Thank you so much for staying and watching this video. I'm gonna go ahead and add some pictures here at the end. If you haven't already, make sure that you subscribe, like the video, tell somebody about the video, come join the community, come back, watch some more, subscribe, share, like, comment, all of that, and I will talk to you guys later.